All right, I'm in my little boat here, and I've just made a bunch of modifications to it. One was the steering. I fixed the steering. Seems to be working spectacularly. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice stuff. Yep, working great. And all right, I've opened the back here. Well, let's check on the little speed resistor. Oh, it looks good. Okay, back here. You know, I've always had this. I've always had vibrations problems with this boat, and I'll I'll get it kind of fixed for a while, and then something will I don't know, it just starts vibrating again. So finally, I was like, damn it, I just need to blah, 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 blah. just fix this thing once and for all, and I did a bunch of things. So one where the motor attaches to the propeller shaft. I made one of these. I don't know what these are called. You know, it's the, the three prong thing with like a rubber thing in the middle. And the rubber thing is just a piece of car tire rubber that I tried to cut as accurately as I could. There it is. And this makes it so that, you know, it just dampens vibrations between the propeller shaft and the motor. And the three prong thingies I just made out of a like a thick walled piece of pipe kind of eyeballed it and blah 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 and then I also put a bearing on the top of the propeller shaft so that it's not just relying on the motor to keep it straight it's actually keeping itself straight and it's all locked in there nice and tight doesn't doesn't move and then I made a real motor mount which you can't really see but you can see, you can see some of the stuff down there there was a lot of uh, cardboard uh, assisted design in that. And then, probably the most important thing, is I put this going from one wall here all the way to the other wall there, and it's bolted into the front of the motor. So that should really keep the front of the motor from vibrating. And, you know, I made it so that the motor mount has, like, adjustable stuff, and it's also got some stuff down there. Anyway... I think I got the motor lined up pretty well. And then with this piece here, it should keep the whole thing steadier. And the reason I really got kind of crazy about doing all this was because when I, when I made this thing, it cut down on some of the motor vibration and I noticed an increase in speed. Like it was, like it was a noticeable increase in speed. No, no increase in motor or anything. Like I didn't, didn't switch the motor. It's just I just got rid of some of the vibration, and uh, yeah, it went faster. So now with all those, <laughs> with all those modifications, I'm hoping this boat goes faster than before on the same powder power. It should just run more efficiently in general. So let's start her up. Ooh, yeah, that's. That's running way smoother than it ever has. <laughs> All right, but at the slow speed, it's not gonna be, I don't know. Maybe it's going faster, I don't know. I, before I couldn't really tell the difference until I got to the fast speed, and then I was like, whoa, that's the difference. All right, let's speed up a little. Oh man, it's so nice. The vibrations are just dead back there. All right, let's crank it up. Oh, I love this boat. It is so good. Turn this down. 
So there is there is a bit of a rattle back there. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure it's just the uh, the tube that surrounds the propeller shaft it doesn't have a lot of clearance, so it just kind of it, it just touches a little bit, but um, it's just making a little noise. It's not making any any noticeable vibration, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Ooh, let's go let's go take a look at at the motor while it's going. Running great. Yeah, nothing, nothing shaking back here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, nothing shaking. I mean, there's a bit of vibration down in the bottom there, but I don't, I don't know that I could get rid of that without adding more bearings. All right, you know what? I think I think this boat is uh, running better than it ever has, and I think it should stay that way with the with the motor mounted in the in the better position now, like just mounted a lot better. <sighs> yeah, I don't because like before I've I've I kept doing stuff to like fix the vibrations, and it was always kind of half-assed efforts you know things that i would kind of get it lined up good so it would be running real well and then you know the the motor would start vibrating at its natural frequency and they just shake a bunch of stuff loose and then it would be back to how it was but yeah this i'm pretty sure is gonna stick ah, all right i'm gonna i'm gonna go get some pizza To get my uh, amp meter out next time I get the boat out. I'm not gonna go get it right now. See if I've decreased the power level at all, like the power consumption. 